When we rescued Gizmo, he was completely broken. His soul was so sad and so was mine. I just felt we were meant to be together. See you later. Bye. Back when it was peak pandemic, my mother unexpectedly died. I was grieving so badly. I got sent this video and it says, your mum will come back in the form of a bird. And that's where Gizmo came into it. Gizmo was caged for a majority of his 16 years. He came from an older couple and they were working full time. And unfortunately, the birds that didn't get bonded with them were just left in their cages. Oh, let the birds out. Chirp, 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 chirp. At the rescue center, there was one parrot there that was not for rescue. And that was Gizmo. I'm Gizmo. And they said, he's aggressive, he's not good for children. So we took the challenge on. Oh, damn it. And it was the best thing we've ever done. Come say hi. Oh. <laughs> when we first got Gizmo, for two weeks, we didn't let him out of the cage so he can understand his surroundings and hear our voices. After that, we would open the cage, but it was always on his own time. We let him make all the first moves. Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, Gizmo can't fly, and we don't know whether he will ever be able to fly. But since we've had him, he's been completely able to free roam. Gizmo is 100% a stand-up comedian. His timing on his little jokes that he does is impeccable. Do you want a statue? We just have one. Yeah, we have one. Sometimes he does sound like a little bit of an old man. So I'm cleaning in the kitchen and he's getting frustrated. He comes over and he's like, what are you doing now? And I'm like, I'm cleaning. And then he says to me, you're doing such a great job. Okay. You're okay. Oh, that's okay. I think right from the start, he could feel that we loved him. Whoa, not my face. He knew that he could trust us. I love you. I love you, kids. He's just amazing.